Hey there, this is JJ with my Bring Back, continuing this series on the basics of creating a website. And what we've done in the past is we've gone through the, the very basic steps of getting a domain name, um, then looking for a hosting package, and then uh, finally installing platforms and how to go about doing that. And now we're focusing in on a, a specific platform for you guys to start off by creating a site or marketing yourself maybe uh, marketing your app that you've built or even maybe just doing a personal blog that you feel like doing um, so now we're gonna go through kind of the basics of WordPress how to use it how to put yourself on the web in a, in a, an efficient manner and so here we are on WordPress's site um, in the previous previous videos I show you how to how to download WordPress how to install it both a manual way and then through your hosting company if they have simple scripts or a quick install function um, and so now we're going to actually go into the WordPress, the admin panel on WordPress, and I'm going to show you the back end, then I'm going to show you what your site looks like, and we can go back and forth and uh, kind of go through the basics in these next few videos here. So let's start by actually going to, uh, going to the back end of your WordPress. And what I mean by that is they give you a link, and the link is, is going to be your domain name slash whatever directory you're in. So in my case, uh, the directory that I placed it, uh, the WordPress in is demo slash, and then this is going to be this is going to be uh, universal for everyone. WP dash admin, and so when you put the WP dash admin, that's going to take you to a login screen, and this is where you have your login where you can uh, that you set up. Usually they sent you an admin one in your email, or they showed you when you installed it. You know, here's your admin password. Um, in our case, I already generated another user, and I'll show you how to do that. But uh, go ahead and enter your username and password for your site, and go ahead and log in. Now, after you log in, you'll see the the first thing that pops up is a dashboard. And the dashboard is going to be a quick reference to you know, as you can see, recent comments, incoming links, WordPress blog, different things going on um, with WordPress. Maybe if there's any any new. Um, any new updates coming out. Um, you can also modify this so you can show exactly what you want to see. So if you don't want to see the right now, click, you know, take that out of there. If you don't want to see the WordPress blog or the maybe the recent comments, um, you can take all that stuff out of there up here by clicking screen options. Um, the next thing you'll see is, is this up here is a link to your actual site. Um, so you can visit your site to see what you've changed in your admin panel. So I like to have one open have one side open to your your uh, what the end, end user sees on your site and then also have the back end opened so you can edit and then you can go look what it sees you can edit and vice versa um, you'll see up here up at the top here some quick reference um, add a new post drafts new page upload upload uh, media and then you can see how do you, you know I'm I'm logged in as demo and then log out so that's kind of at the top user board. Here's what uh, the dashboard looks like. Now over to the left, this is going to be your main control panel. Um, the different areas that you can modify and tweak. And the complexity of this is, is great, but they make it in a simple, easy to use manner so you guys can, can quickly adjust stuff. So dashboard, we've got the dashboard on the top, then we've got updates. If you click this, it'll show you, you know, what plugins you need to update on your site, if there's any updates available. Um, if there's a new WordPress um, available, new version of WordPress available, it'll it'll pop up in there. So that's a nice area that uh, notifies you if there's any updates. Jetpack. We'll go ahead and click into Jetpack. Jetpack is actually something recently that WordPress has launched that has different functionality. If you if you have a Jetpack account by WordPress, you can have you know as you can see a Twitter widget, um, stats for your site you can have uh, different things that they actually provide functionality for and I can only imagine it's gonna grow because they actually down here they have coming soon different uh, pieces that you can use so keep that in mind one of the things that I like about uh, the jetpack that they have is this wordpress.com wordpress.com stats and this shows you how many people come to your site um, how much load on your server etc so it's really nice to see where you are and how uh, how many visitors are coming to your site and what they're clicking on, what they're looking on, so you can help them um, decide on the purchases and, and whatnot. All right, so going down the list, we've got posts, and posts refer to blog posts. 
Um, within this, you can add new, you can put the categories for your posts, you can put post tags, etc. We'll get into that in a little bit uh, more detailed later. Uh, media. This is going to be where all your images, all your files for your for your uh, website that you display on your website will be stored, which ultimately are put onto your server or your hosting account that we went over previously. But it's a nice little area that pulls all your your media files together for you. Um, so that's a really nice function of WordPress. Links. Um, these are going to be different blog roll links, and blog roll links are basically if you if you want to put somebody on the side of your web page and say hey this is a friend of ours um, you can create these link lists and then put them on the on a, on the side of your site or the bottom of your site anywhere on there um, then we have pages and pages are going to be you know what if you want an about me section where it tells you about your sites or what you do and then maybe you want another page that uh, goes over um, different resources um, or functionality of your website if you're if you're an app developer and you want to show the features of your of your app and you want to have a specific page for the features you can have a page for that um, so we'll go into that a little bit de more detailed comments self-explanatory you know if people post comments to your site they're gonna be logged in here and then uh, you can see gives you the detail of them you can approve unapprove spam trash um, from there so gives you that functionality and then below this, this is going to be actually kind of the the guts to your site. Um, down here, these right right below this line. The first one being the appearance. And this is going to be the, the first one that we're going to run over in the next video. The themes and how do you adjust the look of your site. Because not everyone wants to have their site just look like, you know, the basic template. Maybe you want to add a little bit of color or um, functionality to it and that'll be the first thing that we'll go over is kind of how to adjust your your appearance without actually having to code so that makes it easy below that we've got plugins and plugins are a great a great way to add more functionality to your site without having to do any programming plugins are a lot of people have developed plugins to do different functionality to interact with different websites let's say you have a, a Facebook plugin that you want to uh, you want to actually link up to your Facebook account. So then on your main web page you have a, a box that says you know this is this is what's new that's happened on Facebook. So there's a lot of plugins out there that probably you can you can find or make make work for your site or your purposes for your site. So and we'll go over those in more detail again. Users and this is uh, this is again how you manage your users. If you want to add a new user like I did, so I just I have a quick use that says demo and then I create a new password for them so I remember that. Um, or if you just add somebody, you can change people's, um, we'll actually click into here real quick. You can change you know, their role, are they administrator, are they uh, this or that, so, and we'll go into that later. Tools, um, you can click into tools don't really do a whole lot into here but as you add more plugins you'll have more tools available to you like this categories and tag converters um, this is a little bit more advanced you probably won't get into tools a whole lot but it it gives you a little bit more functionality as you learn it um, and then the last um, the last box here is the settings we got a lot of things down here that uh, again we'll go over in details but this gives you kind of the guts to you know, that's kind of the basics to the back end, the admin section of the WordPress. Like I said, the next video we're going to be going over the themes, how to actually change the look of your site without actually having to code, so don't get scared and run off. Uh, it's going to be easy and uh, simple to do, so stay tuned, um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you know when my next videos come out. It'll be uh, quick and easy to, to do. So.